There were nine of us. Jimmy was the sixth, the baby boy. And we grew up on a farm. We raised everything from cows to pigs and all our food that we put away for the winter from gardening. And Jimmy was, chore was to do the chickens. And he always started, he started crying. I didn't want to go out to the chickens. And my father said, no, you have to. He said, but the rooster, the rooster. Well, my father, I was, there were two roosters, but one had no feet. And he literally would chase Jimmy with his stumps and flap his wings and get on Jimmy's back every time Jimmy went to pick the eggs and feed the chickens. And it wasn't until that rooster went after my mother when she was hanging clothes that my father knew why Jimmy was crying and didn't want to feed the chickens. So Jimmy, the rooster, obviously went away. And then Jimmy had no problem doing his chore. But we did, as a family of nine, and being so close in age, our birthdays was with our family only. We couldn't invite friends because there were so many of us, so we were close. And our cousins lived right next door. So we'd go out back and play with the goat, pulling Jimmy up on the top of the haystack so Coco wouldn't get on him. Jimmy stayed who he was, loving, caring. Stephen is from Oklahoma. His parents were there. He was going his yes. He was with my sister who lived up in Portsmouth at the time when she was we were notified that Stephen had been found. But she brought Jimmy, she brought Stephen back to her to his hometown. Bringing him up from Camp Lejeune when they got weekends off. And I guess the spark was quick. And they fell in love. And she had everything ready for them to come home. The boys were coming home. Two days after the bombing, I believe, they were supposed to, their tour was done. So she had an apartment ready and was ready to move down to North Carolina. And instead we had a month of first getting Jimmy home. And the day of Jimmy's burial, finding out they had found Stephen, and Stephen came home two weeks later, and I flew my sister to Oklahoma. The night before the bombing, in the book called The Root, they talk of having a party, celebrating that their tour was done. And we found out about Jimmy first because I, after reading the book, the four boys beside him survived because after the party, they had slept down in the basement. And they said, hey, Sylvia, let's go. And Jimmy was closest to the wall. So Jimmy was one of the first group of men that came home. And then that was a two-week process. Seemed like two years. Seemed like forever. And getting him home and having the service. And I had just gone to bed. And I guess it was 24 hours those Marines were notifying people. And Major Mattis came back with Lieutenant Daniels and told my sister they had found Stephen. And I sit with his pictures, there are pictures behind me in the picture of the memorial. And I've done a coin and got 550 coins that are normally sold only at the MSG, by the MSG at, at Beirut Embassy. And 550 survivors and Gold Star families now have those coins in their hands. And all those boys with me touched those coins when I sent them out. Do I miss them? Yeah. But I also know he's with me every day. Both those boys are still with me. All those boys are still with us.